Hello ladies and gentlemen and newcomers to my channel. My name is Causal Jeffrey and welcome to my Assassin's Creed playthrough. This is episode number 17 and where I last left off I pretty much uh, completed all the Bureau missions so now I get to commence with the rest of the rest of the game. Or uh, game, excuse me. Uh, to commence with the uh, rest of the, you know, it. The uh, assassination attempt. But first... Bye. Way. I'm a running. Ow. Get out of the way, jeez. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Okay. Ow. You jerk. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Come on, people. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. There we go. Come on, I'll say our move. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. No, oh, come on. Are you serious? I mean, seriously, it's like, you can't seem to stay, you can't seem to stay put for one flippin' second. Yeah, the only, the only thing I gotta do is just break their line of sight and that's it. Oh, God, cripes. Oh, whatever. There. Hey. There. Now we can hide. Jeez. We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. The fires of war consume the land. I think the beer bureau. Is oh crap. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> anyway. Now we get to know what our mission is. Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. <coughs> what do you want? Al Muellem has asked. Ask that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. <laughs> That's it? I'm just like, it's gonna have to do. So... Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Like, are we waiting on you, Malik? Some feather. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Make sure to do it quietly as well. Uh, very much so. Anyway. <laughs> I don't cry in the corner. I just... Okay, I cry in the corner. <laughs> That's what I do. Anyway. Anyway, so... Ah, yes, that's right. Into... Oh, Christ. Um, lovely. It's like, this is gonna be interesting, because I gotta try to enter in... Not with relative stealth, but just... Oh, how can you be so surprised when this happens in every single frickin' city? Anyway... I actually had some dust behind me. He went with the wind! And he got wind. <laughs> More than just went. Anyway. Wow, that was impressive. Even my my standards. Excuse me, thank you. Get out of the way. I'm in a hurry. I left. Okay, and ugh. Lovely. And oh. Well that'll work. 
<laughs> this will be this will be fun. And he falls back. Oh wow! Did more than just fall back. <laughs> it's just like I'm gonna jump to my death. Oh jeez. Okay, that worked out nicely. All right. Um. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Crap. Can't do anything. Kind of caught in the corner here. <laughs> Literally. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Alright, so. Oh. As Altair said, um, avoid. his men. But then again, I... oh okay. What oh, now, hey. slaver? Do not call me that. I only wish to help them, as I myself was help me. You do no kindness imprisoning Save me. them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them wow. safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> You know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light, then, and I will grant you one final favor. <laughs> Jolly. I get to fight. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. Oh, typical. This will teach you not to trespass. There we go. I'm trying to take care of my mouth while he's sleeping. Oh, that worked. It worked out nicely. What's wrong with you? Ow. That didn't work out too nicely. Wow. It's <laughs> one hell of a way to do it. There we go. I figured that would work. That was actually a sweet move right there. Okay, and I gotta go after him. I will say the graphics for 2009 were not actually all that bad. Where'd he go? Okay. Well, that worked out wonderfully. You know where to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al-Mu'alim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. 
Long abandoned, the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind. They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No. Not yet, it seems. But you will. One thing I will say is a lot of it, a lot of the stuff they say usually do make sense, but at the same time, it's like you kind of have to kind of have to say that there's a lot of things in there that it's like there's a lot of a lot of contradictions. I think, but it's just that's what I would think. There we go. I don't know. It's really, it's a really open. It's a really a mixed bag of nuts at that point. I have to do this slowly, I will. Alright. Take my sweet time because the way I see it is, it's like, we're here to get it right. Voila, the bureau is right there. Almost like it was meant to be. Anyway. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. <laughs> and how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows. Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No! A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. <laughs> he's not quite wrong, but he's not quite right either. Okay, what happened there? All right, so that is <laughs> wow. Memory block three is complete. So, well, that worked out nicely. All right, so that means now getting out of the animus again. All right. Damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ! It's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. Such it's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Oh, oh well, that's all fine and dandy, Lucy, but, um... I would like to have a little, uh... chat with you. There we go. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under <laughs> a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. Okay. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? 
He said he'd been following my career since undergrad, that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo, helping out on the Animus project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged wow. me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. Hmm. Just like that. There's nothing here, so... Yeah. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna see if there's any more dialogue. Aren't you tired? Nope. Evidently. Alright, so... Let's see. the hell? Someone's been in here. <laughs> Looks like some kind of access code. See, I didn't know that. Oh. That's interesting. If anything, Desmond... No, I doubt Desmond never was doing that. But anyway... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's for the bed. Figures. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stop it right here, so that way it just slides right into the next episode. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it right here. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you leave me a like, it lets me know how I'm doing. If you leave me a comment in the comment section, that will also let me know how I'm doing. And I will leave an ending card for the previous episode, if you haven't seen it already. And I will leave a link in the description to my channel if you feel so bold to see more of my videos, or you're just curious what my channel is all about. And I will leave a link in the description to my Twitter account if you want to follow me there and keep up to date on what's going on, so that way you don't miss a new episode. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I will see you guys next time.